Today we will teach you about the stages of an acrylic painting and what it takes to create a complete acrylic artwork. Welcome to Acrylic Arts Academy, we teach the world to paint. Subscribe to this channel for more helpful acrylic painting content. Hit the bell icon when subscribing to be notified of our upcoming videos. The first step to creating an acrylic painting is the sketch. Every painting we've ever created began with a sketch. Doing a simple drawing of your idea will help you ensure that the imagery fits on the canvas in a way that's pleasing to the eye. You can also create an underpainting by drawing out your sketch using a wash of lighter color paint. For reference, a wash is an acrylic paint mixed with water. The result is a lighter pigment and good flow that allows easy sketching with any paintbrush. This point in the painting is a perfect time to ensure that your composition looks good and that the objects are proportionate. The second step is making your first moves. Now it's time to prepare to paint your art. During this step, ensure you gather all the basic supplies you'll need for your project. If you want to tone your canvas, now is the time. At this point in your project, it's time to put paint on the canvas. It may seem daunting to take the first step, so just take a deep breath and start. It's helpful to remember that in acrylic painting, you can simply wait for the paint to dry and paint over it if you feel you've made a mistake. Take the pressure off yourself by knowing that most anything can be quickly sorted out. The third step in creating a painting is what we call the middle. The middle is about figuring it out. This step is the longest part of the painting process and can be one of the best. The middle is about painting the bulk of your image and often means that you must visually study the subject matter that you're painting. This step includes lots of measuring angles and finding ways to advance the look of your art by adding critical visual cues. Remember, sometimes you can only effectively paint further in your image once you let your paint dry. So please, take breaks as often as necessary. This will help you avoid muddy colors in your final image. If your colors are mixing on the canvas and looking dull, it's time to take a break. The next step is about adding the details, including highlights and lowlights. At this point of your painting, you'll want to feel confident that you've got every object situated well on the canvas and that everything looks how you hope. Some things to consider now are, have I added all the details I wanted? Are the colors bold and bright and match the palette I've chosen? This is a great time to ensure you've added highlights and lowlights to your painting. When you feel the painting is complete, please sign your work. If you have a title or want to remember the date that you finished your art, consider writing something on the back of your canvas or panel. The final step of a painting is varnishing your artwork. When your art has been dry for at least a few days or a week, it's time to consider finishing it. By finishing, we mean adding a varnish to your completed artwork using a spray or applying it with a paintbrush. Click the card in the upper right corner of this video to learn two easy ways to varnish your work, making it look professional and protecting it for the long term. We hope you learned something new with us today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Begin your acrylic painting journey by visiting acrylicartsacademy.com slash free guides.